Hey guys, it's Elvis 83 here today. I'm going to be showing you how to make object ESP. Um, the way this is going to work is by grabbing any 3D object and converting it into 2D by using what to view port point, grabbing the X, Y. Is somebody just... Alright. But yeah, we're going to be grabbing the 3D object from its primary part or whatever the hell you want to grab it from. We just need a position from the part and we're going to be placing the text on it which makes it object ESP or whatever the hell you want to call it um, for this example I'm going to be in jailbreak uh, using the briefcases as the uh, the object that I'll be using to show you an example of again you can make it any other object that you want you can even make it these fucking trees if you want you know but I'll be making the briefcases for today let me enter this uh, thing I don't even know how to fucking Fly this thing. Uh, execute dark decks. Um, the 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 obvious spot to find the briefcases is if the drop if the object is in the game, like in the the place, it's going to be in the workspace, right? So we're gonna look for drop or briefcase in the in the search bar, which we do find drop right here. And what we're gonna do is go find that thing that we just found right here. All right, this is an example. So here's the drop right here, right? And somebody just picked it up. Anyways, what you did see is where it said the drop and the briefcase inside. And basically, that mesh part that was inside of the uh, the the model, it has a a position in it. Or you, you can the the model has a primary part if it's set and it would be the briefcase because that's the only part in there and it comes with a position so we're going to be taking that and converting it to 2D and making the ESP first obvious thing is that we're going to be getting the camera right and the way we're going to do this is grabbing the workspace and then the camera that we are using um, Alright, let's make the function where the ESP will be activated. We're just going to call this drop or briefcase, whatever the hell you want to call it. And two, we're going to be doing where it grabs all of it at once. You could do drop, briefcase, doesn't matter. Indexed, and we're going to be doing workspace, get children. And then we're going to do. Alright. So this grabs everything in the workspace, gets the, ch the children in there, and we're going to specify the drop, the the briefcase. So we're going to do drop name if the child drop equals like the name equals drop, which we used, you did see it said drop. We already specified it, but we want to check if it has the uh, the the other child inside of it, which is named briefcase then we're going to activate it in the parameter or the whatever the hell you want to call it comes in here and it's called drop all right once we end this we're going to be making something similar to this but when the when the uh, the drop is like another drop has been added so when a child has been added into the workspace we're going to specify that it's the drop so one way of doing that is that we do child added connect function drop and boom now we're gonna have it also activate the function right here with the drop and that goes into here alright from here we're gonna do uh, we're gonna create the ESP so from doing this we're just gonna do uh, we're just submitting this drop ESP and by creating we're going to use the the snaps API by the way this video uses snaps everything well not snaps everything it's just the API that we're going to have to use here which is the text and now we're going to customize the text or mod it by making it false as the visibility is false because when you place it 
well we're not going to have a place already but we just want the visibility false at first now we're going to center the text because we do want the text to be centered on everything it just makes it look better the outline of the text so you can see it better I guess so if you want to do that as well and make it true uh, the, you can make the font whatever you want but I'm going to make it too I know there's a way of um, using the name but no I'm just going to use the value um, let's do the color it's color 3 I'm pretty sure color 3 from RGB red green blue and you can make this whatever you want I'm going to make this white which is triple two five five and then I'm pretty sure that we could do what the fuck just happened what was that anyways oh my folder popped out I was like what the hell anyways drop ESP let's make the size 13 you can make it whatever you want alright now since we created the uh, ESP or started a text we're gonna now want a loop that um basically it gets a position on your screen from the the crate the briefcase and we want the text to keep like being on your screen when you're looking at it you know or if it's on your screen so we're gonna create something called a run service which I'm pretty sure you guys heard of it it's, it's just to make a loop and we're gonna do get service run service down here we're gonna name this we'll go render stepped and then we're gonna do this render stepped so this is gonna be render stepped and then we're gonna name this run service which comes into here and we're gonna do render stepped connect function take that out of here and end it like that close it off fully with parentheses and since we now got a loop running we're gonna have a if statement that checks if the drop is there when you do drop only it's saying like if drop exists or not nil and now we're gonna do we're gonna check if the drop is there in the workspace so we're gonna do find first child and the drop of the name the name of the drop and then do and and then we're gonna make sure that the, the briefcase the part the primary part is still there I'm pretty sure you can do uh, and drop that primary part that does not equal uh, nil or empty it's just emptiness but I'm just gonna do drop find for shell briefcase so I can make it easier for you guys to understand do else and so in here we're gonna do uh, I'm just gonna do it right away so you want to do render stepped you disconnect so when all this is when none of this or one of them are not right like they're not okay true or nil or whatever it's gonna come into here and disconnect and it's also gonna make uh, it's gonna remove the ESP in here as well so after this after after this is not nil or okay so when it's good that's when you want to uh, grab the position of the drop and place the text position on the drop as well so we're going to be converting the 3d the objects the, the object 3d part into 2d so we can uh, place the text onto the drop on our screen so we're going to make main this drop position and let's name this drop on screen so here is going to be uh, just the drop position from x x and y and here is going to be on screen and we're going to do this camera because we already have it up here uh, world to view port point and let's do drop 
briefcase position. Remember, it was it had a primary part in there, which was the briefcase and then dot position. After this, we want to do uh, an if statement if the drop is on our screen. So we're going to be using this right here. We're going to do then, else, and then end. From here, we're going to do our drop ESP. Now we're going to place the position on a vector 2, which is only x and y. And we're going to do drop ESP dot x, and then drop ESP y. And then now we're going to make the drop ESP visibility true. And then 2, we're going to make the text. Let's, let's have it better when we have drop ESP text equals briefcase or something. We don't need this. So from here, we can make, so, okay, so if it's not on screen, we want it to make it false, right? So our whole thing is done here. And now when none of, when this is nil or not okay, it comes into here and we're gonna make the drop ESP false and then we're gonna remove the drop we're gonna move the ESP. Which is like this. So it makes it false, removes and then stops the the loop or deletes it or whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it just disconnects it, stops the loop. Oh, let me make sure everything is okay here. Pretty sure this is all fine. I will be testing this right now. Uh, we got an error right here. Uh, this is supposed to be a parentheses down here. If you guys didn't add that already, pretty sure this should be working. Let's check what's going on in here. Line 20. What's going on in here? Oh, okay. I messed up here because I named it wrong. So I didn't name this correctly. This is drop position. So we just make it like that. Which is from here. This should work now. Alright. Hope you guys can see. Let me make sure I'm recording and shit. So now we can see that the briefcases are on our screen now. Let's go pick this one up, which is right here. You can see the text, which is right here. And once we pick it up, it disappears because the briefcase is already known or not in the workspace. And it removes the text. And that's how you make object DSP. For this example, I did it on the briefcases. This one already spawned in. As I said, when the child's being added or the briefcase is being added, it adds text on it already and we can pick this up and boom there you go hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in another video peace out